Canada has what some people call a productivity problem, and, and I say that's the wrong metaphor. Canada has a prosperity problem. Our GDP per capita, which is a measure of our prosperity, our capacity for people themselves, for corporations, for governments to buy the things that we need, has been slipping relative to the countries that we compete with. If you read the newspapers for a couple of weeks, you can compile a list of those problems that need fixing that we don't have enough resources either to fund adequately or to fund quickly enough or to fund at all. Obviously, they start with health care. We have a lot of decaying infrastructure, concrete falling off bridges, inadequate road systems leading to uh, traffic congestion, loss of time and excessive use of fuel. Our passenger rail transport has never seen the second half of the 20th century, let alone the 21st. Protection of the environment, eliminating sources of industrial pollution, replacing old processes by newer ones. So we need to increase our prosperity. The expectation of the taxpayers, as voiced by governments, is that with the billions of dollars that have been invested in research in the last couple of decades, you know, you might expect that research would help increase this prosperity through innovation. We're in a very interesting position. As far as the quality and intensity of our scientific and engineering research is concerned, we're in the middle of the pack of all the countries that are serious players. We got there because we had wealth generated from our natural resources. So essentially, we bought the high quality science. The countries we compete with, take Switzerland, Japan, Taiwan, the Netherlands, Ireland, for example, these are places that have no natural resources at all. They're prosperous, they're among those top economies because of business smarts and because of the use of science and technology in the right way to create wealth. We have to learn how to do that. And we don't have enough large companies that are competitive on a world scale. We have an opportunity with the high quality science and the research intensity, the activity, the number of publications per capita of the population that make it into the top 1% most cited. It's a major achievement. But now we have to go beyond that achievement and, and help return to the country in terms of uh, helping to create a greater prosperity with which we can solve these problems and improve the quality of life for everybody.